so she's in the crate. Her brain's ticking. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? She goes down. Break. Moves her from the crate. That door will never open mm -hmm. until she's laying down. That's the most important thing of crate training. A lot okay. of people miss the exit. The exit part is the most important part because that's the key to everything, isn't it? Yeah, because the crate means go in there and relax. <clears throat> okay, and you can't relax if you're sitting up. You can't relax if you're jumping around. You can't relax if you're whining. So, <clears throat> ready? <clears throat> crate. <laughs> She's almost went straight into a down. Shut the door. And of course, we've done a few repetitions with her. So I didn't shut the door straight away. First of all, I want to make sure the dog's okay with getting in. If you've got a dog that's completely freaked out by the crate, then you just want to leave it there, door open, put some toys in there, put some food in there, and let, get the dog just going used to going in there for a few days before you do any of this. She's obviously come in a crate. She does understand it. So again, she's in a down. So <clears throat> just because she's in a down, I don't want her to know that I'm necessarily going to open the door straight away. Walk over to her, do this. I've got a treat in here for you. So again, she's being good, but just because she's laying down doesn't necessarily mean the door's going to open instantly. Yeah. Laying down opens the door, doesn't mean it's going to open instantly. Right. Again, I'm going to do this. See how a dog's natural response when you mm. open the door is to try and dart out. Mm. So again, <clears throat> she tries to do that. What happens? The door remains shut. Yeah. She lays down. Break. <clears throat> Very old fashioned crate. <laughs> the door. <laughs> you can yeah. give her a treat. Right. So again, let me let me put your door back on first of all, dog. There we go. So come in. Crate. Shut the door. She's a bit of a nervy girl, but again, you don't buy into the fear. If you see a nervy girl, right, one of the biggest mistakes people make is like, oh don't worry, don't worry. No, you're just a little bit nervy. You've not been here very long. Everything's new to you. It's fine. So again, she's trying to figure it out. Were those treats on your kitchen side? Yeah. Do you mind if I yeah, help yourself. So actually, we'll just keep her there because it's yeah. So again, <clears throat> her brain's figuring it out what to do. I can help her a little bit by letting her know what she's doing is good. And again, the treat doesn't actually come until she's in that position. Mm. Just to help her out a little bit. Just a reward for being in there. Yeah, I don't yeah. want her to learn every time I go near the crate she's coming out. I don't want her to learn. Mm. But I can reward her for being in there. Now she's in a down. So I'm gonna walk over to her. What's she gonna do? She stays in that down. I open the door. What does she do? She jumps up a little bit. So again, I back away from the crate. Down is the position that opens that door. Back into a down, break. Then you hear say the word break. She understands mm -hmm. break is a release command. I can give her a treat for that. Just to smooth the process, eventually I'll get rid of the treat. It's just, if I say break to her in the beginning, she's not gonna know what break no, means. No. I just want in, I just wanted her to just basically come Come out. Crate. Door shuts. What'd she do? Break. <laughs> yeah, that was good. 
yeah so you just practice this and then so you don't just stick her in a crate when you leave because of course that's going to yeah. create confusion that's where a lot of people go wrong they'll get the crate out and they'll only put the dog in the crate when they're going to bed or they'll only put the dog mm -hmm. in the crate when they're about to leave so they put the dog in there they shut the door the dog feels trapped a crate is a fantastic thing for a dog all right it's natural that's why you leave the one open in the kitchen mm. yeah but you haven't started leaving her in there when you leave so i just want to make sure she's yeah. really comfortable in that crate okay but the biggest mistake people do is they don't teach the dog how to come out of the crate they don't teach the dog the dog has to be laying down so she's already suffering from separation anxiety but she's sort of used to going into the crate but she's not used to having the crate door shut so this yeah. is what this point's yeah. about we know you're comfortable going in the crate mm -hmm. but now let's let's shut the door but you're going to practice this so what you're going to do because again part of separation anxiety is a dog that follows you all around the house everywhere you go she goes mm -hmm. constantly mm -hmm. by your feet fuss me fuss me fuss me so what you're going to do is every hour pop her in the crate yeah. for 10 15 okay. minutes when she's laying down you can reward her when she's in the crate mm -hmm. but when she's laying down let her out mm -hmm. But it just gets her used to going in the crate with the door being shut, not following you around. So put her in the crate when you eat your dinner, put her in the crate when you're mm. potting around the kitchen. Just get her used to that door being shut with you in the house. That way when you leave, she's already used to the door being shut and things like that. Plus you've exercised her, plus she can't pace around and get stressed, plus you've limited her following you everywhere. Mm. Should really help with the separation anxiety. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? Have you not had enough? <laughs> you can't steal my treats now, look at her. <laughs>